Hello, Internet, and welcome back to Shifung Plays Umihara Kawase. Let's get started. Today's goal is going to be much the same as yesterday's, to take down the giant tadpole. Though, actually, take down the giant tadpole is not precisely the goal. It's more to get past it, because, as I think I mentioned, you don't actually fight the bosses in this game. You just kind of have to outlast them or get around them. And we will have to, um, in some way, deal with the frogs that it puts out. But other than that, I think that mostly we're going to be trying to outlast rather than defeat. Which is, you know, another thing that I really like about this game. And, you know, that's something that kind of I didn't like at first. I thought the boss fights were kind of boring because you weren't actually fighting them. You were just waiting and kind of trying to deal with all of the stuff that they throw at you. But, you know, the more I actually play it and experience that, it's like, the boss fight still managed to be quite difficult. And the more I kind of look at other games and just keep seeing so many combat games and so little else, that's a new little thing that I uh, discovered that I wanted to show you. Oh, here's a fish. Please don't... Okay. Yeah, I mean, I see so many combat games come out, and so little else. And so, you know, a game where you have bosses that you have to endure rather than defeat, that's really cool. I am totally down with that. And, you know, they actually, they manage to be challenging and interesting despite that, so... All seems pretty good to me. Alright, got 11 lives, doing pretty well. Zero score so far, doing pretty well. Sorry, Mr. Fishy. Alright. This bit is a little tricky, just gotta time it right and not miss. And then this bit is also kinda tricky and I have to time it right and not miss. And there we go! That went very smoothly. I'm starting to get that down. Now, this level, I am actually, I have determined that it is much, much easier to go across the bottom than across the top. I've made it across the top once now. So, we'll probably be doing that. Glad I got that extra life. Maybe we'll try and go across the top, because, you know, it's, it's a challenge. It certainly is that. But first I want to, you know, give some wax at going across the bottom. Oh, I am not pushing the right buttons. So I think that if I start pushing the right buttons at the right times, I will do a lot better. But then I guess, isn't that true of any game, you know? All you gotta do to win is push the right buttons at the right times. And I am uh, trying to push the buttons more lightly than I was. This controller is a little bit less ideal for um, this game in particular than the other controller that I use for it uh, when I'm playing on the bus. But that's a handheld, and I cannot stream from that, nor record. And I had a friend uh, was saying to me recently that he was having trouble with only being able to slow down his swinging and not speed it up, and I, I had not had that problem until he mentioned it, and now I am having that problem, so... That's, um, that was not an ideal place to hook, but I think that's enough. There we go. All right, through the door. Doing pretty well so far. I think we've lost two lives trying to uh, get across that swinging. Still zero score. Doing okay. Now I just have to uh, time this right. Oh, no, that's not correct timing at all. So, do I want to try and low percent this, or do I just want to rush the boss? I feel like I should be able to do both. No. Oh yeah, I think I actually I did it this way once before, and found out that it makes it a lot easier. Yeah, going, just dropping down into that pit um, makes that actually quite a lot easier to deal with. 
Now, I've been working at trying to figure out how to get up to where that fish is, and I have not made any progress on that. So, that will probably be something for a future episode. Today, the tadpole. Come on, and jump. Good. Now drop down, and hang underneath it. And this is the one place where I see the physics not being totally amazing is it seems like I will actually gain momentum sometimes dangling down here. But, you know, that's... For everything they got right in this, that is a pretty small complaint. I have figured out that if you don't um, take care of all of the frogs, they will actually jump into the water and then continue to swim around and knock you off if you're dangling down here. So you do have to uh, capture the frogs, you can't get around that. But they're pretty easy- oh, oh, come on, okay. Like I was saying, they're pretty easy to deal with. Don't get hit by the tadpole. Okay, now the three frogs is where I get really in trouble, so gotta be quick. Oh, that was too quick. But now I only have two of these to deal with, which is... Oh! Now I have one to deal with, if I can just not... Oh god! Help! Help! Oh man, I did not think I would make that. And now this is going to be really trouble. Can I get back up here before that frog jumps? Oh, that's a lot of frogs. Oh, I am in so much trouble. Yep. Okay, so I really need to kind of be more systematic about dealing with the frogs, especially when there's three or four of them. Jump! Come on! Oh, man, I pushed too hard again. Okay. Six after this. Jump! Jump! Come on! Okay. Dangle, dangle, dangle! This first phase almost feels like, kind of, why bother? Like, until the frogs come out, it just doesn't feel like that big of a deal. But, you know... Gets you started. Gets you, I guess it gets you used to uh, having to dangle down there. Got that. And I think I, I said that uh, there's, there's not really any way that I can see to avoid grabbing the frogs. So, I will not be able to keep a low score, unfortunately. Now... Oh! So hitting the frogs is actually sufficient. Well, that was kind of riskier than I really would uh, have liked, but it worked. That may actually end up being um, a viable strategy for dealing with some of these later frogs. Come on. Come on. One at a time. One at a time, please. Oh, this, the tadpole is... Ah, oh, no. No, not gonna happen. Okay. Keep on keeping on. Jump. Good. That looks like the timing on that is actually more lenient than it seemed at first. I still want to be careful about it, but it does seem like I have plenty of time to get under there as long as I'm paying attention. What I feel like I don't really have enough time to do is actually deal with uh, the stuff before the tadpole starts walking back. So there, come on, there we go. That's one. I don't think there's anything off to the left to grab, unfortunately. It's a great uh, tool-assisted run of this level, where he was, like, juggling the frogs and using them to balance. Like, drop one down this narrow gap here. Well, that's, that's one way to deal with it. And then hang off of the left side here and just use the frog's weight to support him rather than hooking onto the um, platform itself. That's that taken care of? 
very nicely. I think that's the most cleanly I've dealt with the three frog phase. Now we just have the four frog phase to deal with. Try saying that three times fast, or four. So that seems like the ideal place to stand. Whoops! Oh, well, that's only one frog left, so... We can just... Nope. Boy, that, that tadpole really boogies when it turns around. So, keep trying. We'll get the smoother eventually. And jump. Yes, good. Now... Just more of the same. Not sure um, what to talk about at this point, I guess. I guess getting better at the commentary is as important as getting better at the game, so that's probably something I should be working on as well. Uh, that seems like the best place to stand uh, for grabbing frogs, so that the hook kind of goes right along the ground. I hadn't really noticed, I mean, it's not that surprising, but it looks like it's just a single animation uh, that plays every time you go into the water. There we go. There we go. That's two. And now... Just wait for that, and start jumping back. I'll jump back up onto the platform. Get into position, there we go. Oh. Well, I should be able to, uh, come, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, hurry, hurry, hurry. Nope. Boy, yeah, so, really, if you, if you make any little mistake on this, it's like, no part of it is particularly hard. Well, maybe dealing with the four frogs, but... I and mean, there's nothing particularly difficult that I have to do. It's just that I have to be exactly right every time. Oh no! I don't even know what happened there. My um, right thumb on the hook button must have slipped. Well. Oh, and I didn't move quickly enough. So I can do each phase of this you know, not, like, super consistently. Ugh. I'm, I'm, like, really getting off my, uh... Well, that's it. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you will join me again in the future. I am sure eventually we will get that done. It really is just a kind of a matter of being able to do all of the parts of it consistently enough that I get all of them done without making any mistakes along the course of that, or at least without making any fatal mistakes. So, I guess I will see you next time, and have a great rest of your day.